Sometimes we feel pain. There are some things we can change. Just pray. But do actions behind the pray. See, because faith without works is dead. Uh, sometimes we feel bad. And there are things that would make it last. Trouble don't last always. No. Listen, good morning, good afternoon, my illustrious family. Thank you for being out here. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And welcome, welcome, welcome to the house where we talk about this mental stuff going on. And I'm thinking everybody coming around now. Y'all begin to see that our mental health is so important. It is so important. In fact, more important that people want to give credit and um, credence to. And that's why either it's going to be like in the scripture of Solomon, where we're going to uh, split the baby in half and let all this stuff go down the drain. Or that at the last bewitching hour, we're going to make a final push for humanity. And if we make that final push for humanity, we might can't get the toothpaste back in the tube, but we can cut it off where it is and let what stays in there stay with the light of truth shining down on it so it won't even come out the same. You understand what I'm saying? No, y'all don't hear me. Y'all don't hear me. Y'all don't hear me. So you know what? Let me start this day off. But a little bit, I want y'all to go to, if you got a Bible, go to Second Chronicles, okay? And we're going to go to the 7th chapter and the 14th verse. And it states that if my people, hmm, mm, 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 which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked, wicked, wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and I will heal their land. Man, if every person in, I'm just going to start with America, first of all. If everybody in America could just use that as a mantra. You ain't got to be no holy roller. I ain't asking you to be that. I'm asking you to think about this scripture. If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and I'll heal their land. Hey, can't be no more plainer than that. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening to y'all again and welcome. And I'm really doing this video because, as y'all know, um, I don't know if the video got uploaded yet, but the damn subway shooter lived right down the street from me. Okay? So that shocked the, the, the living bejesus out of me. Um, he's my age. And um, I've seen this guy a bunch of times. A bunch of times. And I... Lord have mercy, Lord, Lord, Lord. That's the only thing I kept saying. Uh, Tommy, you didn't see them too. Uh, this is for my. Uh, let me give a shout out to Nikki this morning. Tommy, Jake, Pam, Elijah, all of y'all. I want to say good morning to you all who gave me a special shout out. But Tommy, you didn't see this man too. Anyway. A person of interest in New York City subway shooting is from Milwaukee. New York police identified him Tuesday evening as Frank James. Um, now, I don't know this guy personally. I've just seen him around the neighborhood. Okay. Um, 
His last known address in Milwaukee is near Six and Clark. Their federal agents were speaking to a man outside of that home. But when they when they saw our camera, they moved back into the house for several minutes. The agents then emerged and said nothing as they got into their cars to leave. Outside of the house, there was a note taped to the mailbox for a person named Frank James. Lord have mercy. The note asked all mail be delivered to the post office. Um, online. 12 News discovered a YouTube page under the name of Prophet of Truth 88. One video on that page shows a man wearing what appears to be the same clothing as the suspect uh, that the police, New York police released. The person bids farewell to Milwaukee saying he's headed to Philadelphia. That's where police say he rented a U-Haul van. Mm -mm. He talked a few, a, a lot of shit about Milwaukee too, about how corrupt, disgusting, and uh, how a white supremacist town uh, that is controlled, uh, basically uh, by white supremacists is what he. Well, uh, let's let's just move on. New York City found that van unoccupied in Brooklyn. It matches the description of a license plate number of a vehicle sought in connection with Tuesday shooting of a rush hour subway train. That was... Police closed off a street about four miles from the shooting scene and cleared nearby businesses while awaiting a bomb squad and a highly specialized emergency services unit. The official wasn't authorized to discuss the investigation, um, but he spoke on the condition of um, anonymy. A gunman in a gas mask and a construction vest set off smoke canisters on the subway train and then shot at least 10 people. At least 10 people. Oh, Lord, Lord. Here's what the news had to say about it. Counterterrorism. We're here to provide an update on the ongoing investigation into the shooting that occurred earlier today in Brooklyn. We're going to hear from Police Commissioner of the City of New York, Chief John Schools, uh, Chief of Department Ken Corey, their first Deputy Commissioner Ed Caban here, Chief of Detective James Essig will update us on the investigation. Uh, we also have Assistant Director in charge of the FBI, in charge of the New York office, Mike Driscoll, um, and the JTPF effort with the NYPD that are ongoing, as well as the Special Agent in charge of the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms. Uh, John DeVito, but we'll begin with words from Gracie Mansion from the mayor of the city of New York, Eric Adams. You're going to find a lot more people acting like this unless we get a hold to this mental health situation. Now, for those of us that don't want to deal with this in terms of a mass mental health problem, coupled with being on lockdown for two years, this country can do whatever it wants to do. You, you're going to end up seeing a whole lot of people. Like you saw that lady running down the street in Hollywood or wherever she was in Los Angeles where somebody ran her down with their car to take off her watch. This is how sick this place is getting. And to stay in America is to stay in hell. Here we go. She's the great Babylon. Thank you all for attending this evening and helping us get this information out to the public. It's so important. We are truly fortunate that this was not significantly worse than this. 
As we reported this afternoon, a man who was traveling on a Manhattan-bound N train opened two canisters that dispensed smoke throughout the subway car. He then shot multiple passengers as the train pulled into the 36th Street Station snapped. in Sunset Park. Ten people were injured by gunfire, and an additional 13 were either uh, injured as the, they rushed to the out of the train station or they suffered smoke inhalation. I pray for y'all. Some good news is that none of the injuries appear to be life threatening. As detectives processed the crime scene, they recovered a 9mm semi automatic handgun, extended magazines, and a hatchet. Also found is a liquid we believe to be gasoline and a bag containing consumer grade fireworks and a hobby fuse. About an hour ago, detectives located a U-Haul van in Brooklyn that we believe is connected to the suspect. At this time, we still do not know the suspect motivation. Clearly, this individual boarded the train and was intent on violence. We are conducting a highly coordinated investigation that includes NYPD detectives, the FBI NYPD Joint Terrorism Task Force, and the ATF, who have been instrumental in tracing the firearm and ballistics. The suspect is a dark-skinned male and was wearing a neon orange vest and a gray-colored sweatshirt. We do have a person of interest in this investigation, but we need the public assistance with additional information. We're asking anyone with information to call Crime Stoppers at 800-577-TIPS. We know this incident is a grave concern to New Yorkers. We cannot lose sight of victims in this city. We will use every resource we can to bring those to justice who continue to prey on the citizens of New York. I'll ask you to read that and we will detail the investigation. Good evening, everybody. Today is 8.24 a.m. For the Manhattan bound entry, 10 people were shot, seven males, three females, and they were removed to area hospitals. An additional 13 people suffered injuries related to smoke inhalation, falling down, or a panic attack. The information I'm about to give you is preliminary and it's subject to change. As that entry was between Stations 59th Street and the 36th Street Station. Seated in the second car, in the rear corner, was a dark skinned male. Various descriptions of his type were given. He was heavy set, wearing an orange, blue, nylon type construction vest. He also had on a gray hoodie, a surgical mask, and a neon blue construction helmet. As the train approached the 36th Street Station, witnesses stated the male. I heard D and R and the D, uh, the D train. He them on the subway floor, brandishes a Glock 9mm handgun. He then fired that weapon at least 33 times, striking 10 people. The male then fled the scene, and detectives were actively trying to determine his whereabouts. We covered at that scene was a Glock 17 9 mm handgun, three extended Glock type magazines. One was still in the weapon, one under a seat, and one in the backpack. Yeah. We had 33 discharged shell cases, 15 bullets, five bullet fragments, two detonated smoke grenades. Okay, so he was going to do some damage, y'all. And, um, he did a little bit. He could have did a lot worse. And I don't know if any of y'all remember, um, but this is what it reminds me of. Y'all remember Colin Ferguson? How many people remember Colin Ferguson on that damn train? Huh? Y'all don't remember? Colin Ferguson on the damn freeway. Okay? The long, it was 1993. Uh, long Island Railroad shooting occurred on December 7th. A, aboard a Long Island Rail train was this dude named Colin Ferguson. 
and he began firing at all the white people on the train. It was six deaths and it was 19 people injured. And he used a Ruger, a semi-automatic pistol. Now, people went crazy and after Colin Ferguson did this. And I think he did this after the white dude, I can't think of his name, shot the people on the uh, uh the young men, the teenagers on the subway. So New York is used to having people get shot up on the uh, uh, subway and on the uh, RTs. So now Colin Ferguson opened fire uh, on a commuter train from New York City, killing six and injuring 19. Colin Ferguson was a mentally ill man from Jamaica who spent years on the West Coast before coming to New York in 1993. On December 7th, he boarded a 5 50, I mean 33 p.m. train out of Penn Station carrying an automatic pistol. And as the train pulled into Garden City, Ferguson, uh, he began running down the aisle shooting at random peoples. Now, defense attorney William Cussler initially represented Ferguson, but his strategy of arguing that Ferguson was not responsible due to black rage uh, infuriated even Ferguson himself. So after he fired Kunstler, Ferguson decided to act as his own mayor. Don't don't make me laugh. I mean, I'm not trying to laugh because this is not funny. I just, my mind went back to this dude questioning the people who he shot. This shit was off the chain. This dude fired the attorney, and if he was going to be the attorney, his old attorney, now he running around asking the people that he just shot, and they saw him talking about, did I shoot you? And they was like, yeah, you bitch. You f yeah, you fucking shot me. Anyway, the resulting trial, which took place in January and February of 95, Ferguson opened by claiming he was not the shooter. He argued that a white man had stolen his gun and shot those people. He then pinned the crime, um, then pinned the crime on Ferguson. But he later changed his story, stating that a man who shared his name and facial features was the real killer. This dude was all over the goddamn place. When Ferguson asked nearly all of the surviving victims in turn to identify the killer under oath. They each pinned the blame squarely on him. After the judge denied Ferguson's request that President Clinton and Governor Cuomo testify, Ferguson decided to forego his own right to testify. So on February 17, 1995, the jury convicted Ferguson of six counts of murder, 22 counts of attempted murder, and he received six life terms. Now, we driving them crazy here. Something about America. Now I just heard uh, the the dude that shot John Lennon is out here um, making the uh, uh, house calls. Now I know this is a little uh, off the record, but this how crazy this damn place is. See, so crazy is as crazy does. Okay, so now y'all gonna let him come out and then start making the round. This country, I'm gonna say it again. Is going to be destroyed from within. It's not going to be destroyed from without. Stop looking across the road, take, giving, let them give us, let, letting them take our tax dollars to look for a foreign enemy when the enemies are right here underneath our very feet that are sick and tired of being sick and tired and they are losing their damn minds. And it don't seem like nobody seems to be doing anything or care about anything until something like this happens. I'm sorry for all the people in New York who got shot, who um, were in caught up in this type of madness. I'm glad that none of y'all um, were seriously hurt so far, but the trauma of it will uh, stay with you forever. You are you are no longer the same. You are permanently damaged. You will have PTSD 
for the rest of your life. You are gonna be scared to get on the subway, and if you do, it'll never be the same. Okay, and those are the things that people don't talk about after you go through the trauma of something like this. So my heart and my prayers go out to everybody and anybody that was on that train. And um, it's just insane. Absolutely insane. Anyway, the shooters from Milwaukee. And um, you know, you already know when they catch him, I believe when they catch him. Uh, he'll probably be the uh, did away with himself, you know, because that's usually what happens. Okay, that's just my opinion. I like to hear what y'all got to say. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. And thank you to uh, all who have donated to the channel. Thank you for all who have watched the uh, car, uh, the commercials. I appreciate it and allow the videos to play to the end that helps me in the algorithms. So thank you very much. And y'all be safe out there. And thank you for being here. And I'll see you in the next.